Obviously, I feel like I'm the favourite, but uh, you know, playing with Rick today, it really opened my eyes as the talent that's, out, that's here to, this week. Uh, I think the sleeping favourite's the, the sleepy giant, Isaac. Played with him a bunch, and uh, the guy's the guy's pretty impressive. So, I mean, keep an eye out for Big Isaac. Besides myself, the players that I think are, are guys to watch would be Ray, Derek, and Rick. Uh, outstanding players all in their own right. Um, and I think it, it's going to open up for some interesting golf this, this season. Mark Silvers, who plays on the NGA Golf Tour, um, and a friend of his also who plays on the NGA Golf Tour, Rick Cochran, uh, the uh, nephew of uh, Russ Cochran. He's a very good player. He made a lot of birdies today in the practice round. Uh, he's someone to look out for. Uh, they're both really good players and should be a great competition. Silvers is probably going to be uh, my toughest competition. Um, He's uh, got a fairly solid, or a really solid game from head to toe, and uh, I was uh, impressed with his ball striking and his demeanor and uh, his putting, so he should be a pretty tough beat in this show. I actually rode with uh, Isaac, and we, we had a great time. Uh, super nice guy, and he's just, uh, you know, I think he's a little bit more of a homegrown swing, but he knows his game. Mark Silvers, he, uh really solid players, won a lot of pro tournaments, got a lot of experience. That's just from what I can see so far, so Mark would have to be my guy. Chan is a guy who's got a lot of confidence in his putting. I know he used to work for a putter company, so he's got a big belief in, in, uh, in the product that he was selling, and, and uh, you could tell that the guy can roll his rock. You know, Rick uh, moves the ball. I mean, he, he has for a while. He comes from good blood, big Cochran blood. So. Uh, you know, he puts the ball where he wants to. He knows exactly what he wants to do with it, too. And, and he's been in competition where he's been in the mix. He knows how to win, and uh, he has won. And I think that's somebody that is, I personally would not want to face an elimination challenge. Stu, for a, for a little guy, can really bomb it out there. He's got a good game, good attitude, uh, just a, a free will, if you may. Um, he just, he, he just loves to go out there and have some fun. Ray, the Australian, uh, has a great swing, a powerful move at the ball. Um, I think he's going to, uh, he's going to be a, he's a consistent ball striker, and I believe he's had some success in the Nationwide Tour, so that means he can play. Liam, younger guy, at least younger than other guys in the group, I think, um, also hit it really solid. I like his action, I like his move, it's powerful for a small guy, he's only 5'7", five, 5'8", five, and he rips it out there with us, and I'm not even that big either. I played with Rick today, and he started off, first time he's ever seen Greenbrier, old white, he started off ham bone, four birdies in a row. And then he proceeded to birdie the final two holes on the front nine, threw a bogey in there, shot 29 on the front nine, first time playing Greenbrier. Come on. <laughs>